Hi, everyone. Welcome to NLC Live. I'm Matt Mosler. I'm the pastor here at New Life Church in Pine Bluff. I'm so glad you joined us today. I've got a great verse I want to share with you. It's kind of personal. All right, I'm getting a little personal with you here today. It's coming out of the book of Psalm, chapter 27, verse 1. Here's what it says. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? But the Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? The Lord is the defense. The Lord is going to defend my life. Guys, listen, I, I think this, this verse speaks to me because throughout my life, and I'm in my 50s now, I've done a lot of, I've taken a lot of steps of faith that other people think are crazy. You know, when you leave jobs and you buy things and you go in certain directions that other people don't have the courage to go or they don't have the faith to go, they're going to they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. And anybody out there who is, who has either made that step of faith and you're in the midst of this rough water right now or you're contemplating taking a step of faith, I want you to use this verse to encourage you. Because I want you to think about, here's a great encouragement. How about Noah? All right, this ought to encourage you. Uh, imagine that you're Noah out there in the wilderness and God comes to you and he says, I want you to build me a boat because I'm going to make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights and destroy the world. Well, Noah's first question most likely was what's rain, right? It never rained before. God says he watered the earth from the ground. Well, God explained what rain was. And then Noah says, what's a boat? Because Noah's, Noah's hundreds of miles from the nearest body of water. And God tells him to build this enormous boat. It ain't a little... It ain't a dinghy. This is a boat. This is a big ship. This boat is big enough to hold every animal on the planet and their girlfriend, right? This is a huge boat. And the Bible says that Noah was 500 years old when he started to hammer this thing together. He's 600 years old when the flood comes. So you realize that boat sat in Noah's front yard up on blocks for 100 years, which it makes Noah the world's first redneck, right? We get that. But also imagine what the neighbors are saying about crazy old Noah. Right? You got this boat in your front yard. Nobody's ever seen it. They're making fun of this guy left and right. They think Noah is a nut. He's following God. Everybody thinks he's crazy until the rain comes. And then when that raindrop falls, they're going to run to him. Listen, you're going to take steps of faith and people are going to think you're nuts until the rain comes. And when, that, when their life begins to fall apart, when all hell breaks loose in their world, they're going to come to the person who's got their feet planted on the rock who they know are following God, even when other people think they're nuts. God is going to defend your decision. So trust him because the rest of the world is watching you as you step out in faith. And even though it might get dark at times, God's going to illuminate your steps. Even though it may not make any sense to anybody, God is going to defend your decisions because that's the kind of God that he is. Because when it went because when you step out there, when you step out of that boat into the rough water, when you start following God in places where it doesn't make any sense, you know where you you know where you end up? You end up in the abundant life. And that's where God created us to live. Isn't that good? Father, we love you. And we thank you for this word to encourage us to follow you in faith. We thank you for being our light and our defense. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.